trust. Reactions are pouring in after the Tennessee legislature passed a bill that would allow teachers to carry a handgun in public schools under certain conditions. We have team coverage this evening. I'm Sarah Diamond. And I'm Casey Marler. Any teacher wanting to carry a firearm must get permission from three people. The principal, the director of schools, and the local sheriff or police chief. The teacher would also need to already have a handgun permit, receive 40 hours of additional training, and pass a psychological examination. And while some teachers may choose not to do that, News Channel 11's Karen Jenkins spoke with a teacher who's ready to carry if it means protecting his students. Karen, what can you tell us about the teacher and how does he feel about the new legislation? Well, this teacher is not only an educator, he's also a parent, and he feels like having his own firearm in the case of a school shooter gives him and his students a chance in what he calls an otherwise defenseless situation. Joshua Arwood is a parent to three kids in Greene County Schools. He's also a teacher here, and he says he'll protect his students like his own. You know, I'm hired to teach these kids. I'm uh, supposed to educate them, and that's first and foremost. But, you know, I also have a responsibility while they're in my care that I'm going to protect them, and, you know, that's what I'm going to do. That's why Arwood is in favor of a bill that would allow some teachers who meet the requirements to be armed at school. Arwood currently has his handgun carry permit and feels very comfortable around firearms, but he knows not everyone does. So I agree there's people that wouldn't want to carry guns. There's people that probably shouldn't be carrying guns, um, you know, but it's something I'm used to doing. When asked how an active shooter situation might look with armed teachers, Arwood says he doesn't anticipate teachers chasing down a threat, but rather following lockdown procedure and being a last line of defense if an intruder enters his classroom. But like I said, if somebody gains entry, um, you know, you've at least got some way of protecting yourself other than just trying to find something heavy to throw at them. And I ask Arrowwood about the other teachers at his school. And as you can imagine, it's mixed results. Some are for sure. it, some aren't. But that's what he says he likes about the bill. No one's forcing these teachers to carry. It's their choice. Real unique perspective from someone mm -hmm. inside the classroom.